Hey guys, today I'm going to go over a Emacs setup for Elixir. Uh, got some requests to do some Elixir videos, so I figured the first one would just be a simple setup. And the focus of this, or what makes it unique, is integrating the REPL into the uh, custom configuration. I really love using the REPL, especially when I'm learning a language, when I'm doing practice problems, which is usually how I try to learn. So I wrote some custom Emacs Lisp functions for this, nothing too crazy and I thought it might be helpful. So what exactly is Elixir? Why am I gonna make some videos on it? It's a newish, cool, functional language, and I think that it's one of the ones that I forgot to talk about in my last video. Um, I hadn't done too much research on Elixir, and when you look at functional languages, you're kind of directed more into the mathematical domain, but this seems like one of the more quote-unquote practical or production languages. And uh, the main reason being it's almost like a replacement for Ruby. It has a great web framework, Phoenix, that's uh, probably one of its most widely used packages, just like how Ruby has Rails, um, very similar syntax to Ruby. And I believe that the creator worked on Rails. It runs on the Erlang virtual machine, which isn't you know, super fast, but it can handle concurrency and multiple requests really, really well. And I'd say it probably has some of the friendliest syntax of a functional languages and it has some packages for neural nets and data science which some people wanted me to go over. That being said, I'd say it's probably also one of the least performant functional languages, but the trade-off is it's the easiest to get into and it's got some of the most developed frameworks out of all of the functional languages. So some of the prereqs, the Elixir language, uh, general for key maps and use package. So the packages, just Elixir mode, and then inferior Elixir, and this is what gives you the REPL integration. Just adding a hook to get that inferior mode set up anytime you open an Elixir file. Uh, some of the custom functions, so here I have uh, inferior switch. So what this does is it switches to an Elixir window or it opens a new one. And what I do here is I get a buffer list, but if you look at the list of buffers, it's not, um, their names, it's a lot of details about them, so it's hard to pattern match or match in general just based on that. Like if I run this in the bottom, you can see really small text what it looks like, but then if I map um, the function buffer name across this list, it gives me their string names, and um, then I run the helper function on this list of string names of the buffers. So here I just have a simple cond where I see if the list is empty, in which case there are no inferior um, REPLs running. So I create a new one, and if I do find an inferior REPL, then I switch to buffer other window, that buffer. And um, I could have used a let with car here, but then it would have been hard to run this equal, so I just chose to make this as verbose as possible, especially when I'm still kind of learning Emacs Lisp. And then as a way of doing like an else, I just set true here. So if those two conditions aren't met, automatically run the helper on the rest of the list. And then some key bindings that I'm used to are control C, control Z. So if I'm in the inferior mode, just take me to the previous window. Um, and if I want to send one line, just control return. And then here I have send buffer uh, with control C, control C. And then here I have elixir inferior switch. So that's that custom function that I defined. And all in all, I'd say it works pretty well. Uh, the font is going to be a little bit small in this next window, but just pay attention to how the cursor moves. So here I have some Elixir file. I hit Control C, Control Z. It asks me which REPL. There isn't one, so I create a new one. And then I'm in this REPL right now. So I hit Control C, Control Z, moves me back. And what's nice is that if I make this the only open window, Control C, Control C brings that back up. Come over here, let's say X is equal to two. I send that over. Go back, x plus 3, send that line, 5, perfect. So now I can do something like def module paid, I think I don't need to do that. 
Zeus here. some parameter x and then here we'll just do x times x so now I've got this k function and if I run it I get a hundred so just a simple plugin for running these uh, functions this is Maybe not super helpful in production, but when you're doing practice problems, let's say you're going on exorcism.io or .org to do the practice problems, maybe you're trying some elite code, you know, I think the REPL is a great tool to have. And sorry this font's so small, I'll look into writing some key bindings to increase it, just wanted to get this video out today. All right. Thank you guys.